next up is Jody with his project Da Vinci's Notebook. Woo! Okay, so this was, um, I work with a programmer, he's in the States right now, and one of his assignments for creative writing was to create a piece of artwork using pastiche, which apparently is a very fancy way of saying uh, stealing like an artist. Basically, you get something famous, put your own spin on it, and then that's pastiche. So he said, okay, then let's see if I can try to make a video game, and he asked me to help with the visuals. So uh, one of the requirements was to be inspired by um, the Renaissance period. So he just finished their, their course on Da Vinci. So we, that's why we decided to go with Da Vinci's style. His uh, sketches were very anatomical and he would do a lot of observational studies on animals, which led us to um, a game where you go out into the world and explore and find animals to document. Now the, the animals will initially appear as a black silhouette. Then this um, circle you see right here is what we call the study area. You have to be in that area to sketch out the, uh, the animal. Then once you finish sketching out the animal, the details will be revealed for that particular animal and any other instance of that animal. So here are the other animals that I made. I went with a more cartoony or doodly style. Now, this is not exactly like Da Vinci's art style, obviously, because I would, I would die if I tried to imitate him. So instead, we opted for a childlike um, look for the overworld. Then when you fill out your notebook, it becomes a bit more scientific, even though it's just a bunch of scribbles. So along with the drawing, um, you have to determine two other attributes of that animal, whether it's friendly or not, and whether it's edible or inedible. So to determine if it's friendly or not, um, if basically if it attacks you, it's the game will check, okay, it's, it's a, obviously a, an enemy. But for edible and, ed and inedible, you have to actively kill the creature, then eat it. If you regain hearts, yeah, it's edible. And if you lose hearts, then, oh no, sorry, if you, don't, you don't lose hearts, you just vomit. Then it's inedible. Our rationale behind this was we thought back then when they didn't uh, have much information about these creatures, how would people know, or what are the first things that people would like to know about these creatures. So the first thing they would think of is, is this thing going to kill me? And the second thing is, can I eat this? So that's why we just stuck with those two. Uh, and then at the end, if you uh, manage to get all three, you can name it whatever you want. The player can name it. Oops. Then um, here's some other pages of the other animals. So I kind of put myself in a corner because when I made the doodles, I didn't think of um, making these pages yet. Then when he asked me, hey, we have to make it look like Da Vinci, I thought, crap, these, they don't have like real an anatomy. So I had, I had to uh, look up references of animals and try to like piece it together. And I think I, this is my favorite. He's basically a weird, fat, chubby rhino. And there's a donkey. So yeah, this is me on the, um, the right. My Instagram and Twitter and my pro and the programmers on the left, that's his assignment. So that's it. Any questions? Uh, how do you win the game? Right now it's just to collect this fill out your notebook. So uh, right now we started with six creatures. And if time permits, I can add more, but right now it's a six creatures. And I think the deadline for this is like next week. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you said that you could only gain hearts is there any way to lose hearts? Oh, right. So when you're in the circle of the, the study circle, the animals have different behaviors. Some animals run away immediately when they see you. Some will contemplate like your presence. And then after the contemplation, they'll either run away or immediately attack you. So um, we thought it would be interesting to see how players react in those scenarios because it takes some time to fill up uh, to study the animal. So if the animal's actively at, uh, attacking you, you have to be running away while studying it. Essentially, we also included like um, hiding in the bush mechanic. So if you're in a bush and you're inside the circle, 
they won't see you. And if they're running away, you have to catch up and try to like draw them as they're running away. <laughs> so yeah. Um, will the animals' uh, properties be randomized each time, or always the same? Well, for each species, uh, well, it's the same for each species. I mean, will each species be randomized? Sorry. Oh, um, not exactly random because we're trying to balance out like how many are aggressive, how many are um, timid. But I guess the more uh, if we do make a lot, we would randomize it. But for now, it's just up to us. Yes. Question from the audience: <laughs> Is this like Pokemon, but you eat the Pokemon? Okay. Ah, that's a good. <laughs> that's an interesting uh, connection. Mm, I'm gonna say yes, so more people will play it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Question for me: Is this like don't starve but you can't starve? Yeah, basically, like don't starve was a very big inspiration for the uh, art style and uh, the point of view. Question from the audience: Would friendly animals fight back if you try to attack them? Uh, we had one, like we had sub behaviors. So we had one. We planned for one to be like a defensive type. It would only attack if you attack. But we thought it would be confusing for the player if they would attack it immediately with that. And even though it's considered by the game a friendly animal. But if the player attacks it and attacks back, they might think, oh, it's probably aggressive. So we decided to scrap that, at least until we um, redesigned the system to account for those things. But we're not putting that. Uh, will there be a DLC where you can play as Carl von Linné and identify all the plants? Sure. <laughs> Actually, the initial, um, the initial design was we also did the same thing for plants, but we couldn't find... I think for our sanity, we decided to just stick with animals. Because that would be another, you know. Because uh, Carl von Linné is from this area, I think. So you Ooh. can actually visit his home and see everything he needs to do. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Thank you. Woo!